I see an old MAC lipstick in there. <laughs> It's your favorite series from TikTok. If you're new here, hi, my name is Miss Megan Robinson and I had a very popular series on TikTok called Your Fave Series where I blind picked and tried on really old MAC discontinued or limited edition makeup. Make sure you subscribe and turn on post notifications so you never miss a post. Let me know down below what your oldest makeup product ever is that you are still holding on to so close to your heart. And if you wanna see what goodies are inside here, keep on watching. This, I believe, is MAC Tartan Tales, which was a holiday um, collection. And I've already opened these on TikTok, but I've gone through so much product, I don't remember. I think this is between 1990 and maybe like 1999 or 2000. Modium. I will not be putting these on my lips. Oh my God. First of all, first of all, How risky would it be if I just did it really quickly? I will not be putting these on my lips. Just, I'm just gonna do it really quickly. We'll put it on and then we'll take it off. And take it off. Put it on, take it off. I'll just do like literally this section here. Okay, I'm scared. <laughs> beige. A beige frost. See. I know you have these formulas and I know that you can bring them back out. Wavy blue pencil, just pencil, obviously for the eyes. I mean, that is beautiful. It's like a beautiful teal. Why isn't the pencil, regular pencil shade range wider? I believe that you could do that. 3D, this is from 2010. 2000? 2010. I don't know. What is that, a frost? <laughs> it's, I'm going to go by the fact that it's that creamy, that it was the year 2000, and I'm just going to go like this. Okay, beautiful color. Oh, so beautiful am I. Should I get fresh Moroccan? I feel like I would really like that. Pivot! <laughs> Pivot! I think that, Rivet? I think it's, oh, maybe it's rivet, rivet, but regardless, it's giving relentlessly red. It's giving, <laughs> I'm gonna pass away. Oh, Matt. Oh, that is a formula. That is red rock and relentlessly red mixed together. That is stunning. So this color's really actually always been around. Always coming out in limited. I'm assuming that was permanent. Always come out in limited. Sorry, I keep looking at myself. Always come out in limited shades. Red Jade, for example. Slightly off lip pencil. This could have gone. I'm going to put it on. These are my friends also, by the way. Um, and she gave them to me. This could have gone with like up the amp and men love mystery oh come on with a little bit of fabby this we all know how i feel about lip pencils everything smells very plastic the risk it's worth it soft flame loose beauty powder it's like a loose, oh my God. Can you see the bits of sparkle? It's like love thing in loose form. Oh my God, it's like a, a loose faux sure. So in powders, powders don't hold on to bacteria, but like binders and stuff and film formers are the things that could not perform as well and then that's where it like loses its pigment or doesn't apply well i really want to keep this out when is this from 2007 oh my god i just love it original angel stop angel was my first lipstick ever it's absolutely not that baby pink anymore. 
it's so much deeper. Stone for definition. Yeah, that's beautiful. Angel, no, Politely Pink was my first. I always forget about Politely Pink. It went Politely Pink, Angel, Bombshell, Ladybug, Mac Red. That's the order of the lipsticks that I got. Nail Lacquer. Oh, it was called Nail Polish. In Polyaster. <laughs> if I can really sealed shut. Have you guys seen the girl on TikTok that, um, of course it's still in perfect condition. It's like Morange. Um, what was I saying? I don't really remember. <laughs> Run the clip. I love it. There's a lot of lipsticks in here. Luster lipstick. Rouge Noir. So fuzzies can be the emollients coming to the surface. And just like the lipstick separating could also be mold. I can't, all I can smell is the nail polish. Oh God, lusters. Yeah, I think this is just the emollients. You can really tell when something's like bad fuzzy. This is how Aaron Parsons does it. Oh, as a little popsicle tint. It went this, but in silver, it was like metal. Then this one, then the silver version of this, then this, then the new one. Are my lips on fire? No. Could I convince myself that they are? Yes. Oh, an original Mac Pro Rust Lip Pencil. Lip pencil? Must be. Yeah. Oh my God. There's something that happens to the inside of my body when I see the old font. I don't remember if I tried these on in the last. Beautiful orange. That orange could come back. I love pencil. What is it? Like, I'm so attracted to lip pencils and eye pencils, but... I don't know what it is when I hold a lip pencil. I just love it. Like this makes me feel like I'm wearing makeup. It's that type of product for me. Now Mac online. Oh my God, is this like a, is this from when they first got like a website? That's really cool. I don't think this was a business card. It could have been like a counter card. That's so cool. Oh my God, an original Russian red. I'm not gonna try this on because I will wait until I get new Russian red. I can compare all three. We're gonna keep that out because I'm excited. Nail polish. <gasps> Dubonnet! This is, oh, are my lips on fire? I love the like printed bottom. Um, it's probably in great condition too. Dubonnet, I think after I went Ladybug, MAC Red, then I got Dubonnet lipstick. If it was, did it use, oh, well, I can kind of understand the color when I look at it like this, but it looks so much more like, I would think this is Diva before I think that it is Dubonnet. Is that what original Dubonnet used to look like? Apre Peach, Pearlizer, sheer, God, that smells. This polish is from 2001. So this is 23 years old. I'm holding Mac that's 23 years old. I mean, I have Mac lipsticks that expired in 1998. It's just so, I think about this sitting in the store. I think about how it's gone through multiple hands and now I am holding it. Now, I don't know. That's just how my brain works. I also think about space a lot. Curlizer Sheer Pigment. That's kind of nice. Oh my God, the nail polish is just like <coughs> burning my insides. Curlizer Sheer Pigment. That makes sense because a lot of pigments are so intensely shiny or have a lot of color that if that was too much for you, you could go down to that. Especially in terms of like a highlighter. That is original Viva Glam one, just called Viva Glam. Shut up, 
Shut up. I didn't know that this was in here. The newest Viva Glam one. <gasps> I'm keeping that out as well. Oh, that's so exciting. I'm so excited. Shut up. No, original captive. The fun thing about this series is, series is because I've shown so much makeup that I can't retain it all. I could redo this for the rest of my life and I'm still gonna be just as excited. I'm gonna have to compare, that's how I remember captive. I'm gonna have to compare this to new captive. Rebel. I feel like Rebel has not changed. Rebel might be the most consistent. Ah, well, a little bit more Barry-esque. Hee <laughs> hee. Oh yeah, I've put this on TikTok. And I still don't remember how you guys told me to pronounce this. L-I-C-H-E-N. Lichen. This is a beautiful, can I still wear this? Like, let, let's, let. It's a beautiful olive green. It's from 2000, 2005? 2015. I'm willing to take the risk. So you might potentially see me with eye makeup that has that on it. <gasps> Original faux? I don't know if I have. Oh, it's not a color for me. <laughs> okay, but wait. To not have it on my lips forever. Cause I, it was actually this, I think it was this product that was too old and I shouldn't have put it on, but it's fine. Okay, with stone, maybe it's a vibe. Get 10 more lipsticks in here, so that can be a separate video. I sh oh my God, twistable, tw twistable eyeshadow. The original, like this, like twist shadows. What is this? <gasps> Mystery, no. Mystery and Smut were, oh, look at that, were my browns. I never personally owned ones in like the twist container. Dream eyeshadow, different. Oh, so, okay, so this has the MAC logo with the line on it um, and the MAC written there. This one has like the current MAC shadow on the top, but then it has the Mac written around the edge. To me, I want to say that this one came first before the, no, this, yeah, I think this came first. To me, this lid belongs with this, but it doesn't. Dream, is it baby blue? God, it's like a, it's like a baby blue. Oh my God, it's giving 90s. I should do a look with that. Original Hyper Reel. So what? I think this is the actual original Hyper Reel because it's just the, it's the 400, like it's just the number because it changed. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, there's just this like, I was told that when Hyper Reel originally came out, it broke everybody out, like the original foundation. There's just this like bobbiness to it that I, I don't know what other word to describe. It's almost like a jelly, a jelly texture when you swipe it, swipe it down. A lip pencil called Test Pattern. That looks like a color I'd like. Everything's wet. No reason that shouldn't exist. No reason that this shouldn't exist. This looks like it would have been a great pairing for Flesh Pot. Oh my God, it's like, oh my God, and I miss mean, Megan Lip. Oh my God, I would die. Okay, you know what? This is Slate Eye Pencil and I'm taking it from this archive and it's going in my regular collection. I do not care because this is one of the best eye pencils ever, ever. 2014, 2004, I don't know. It is going in my eyeliner collection, whatever this is called. Thank you so much. I don't think these have ever been taken out of their box. Well, this one, these are feather lashes. 
and I feel like I could make them work. They're so black. I don't have anything to say. Uh, yes, the real pin pin, large of the magnet pins. This feels heavier. I could be making that up. And the Mac logo looked bigger. And then there's just some pigments in here. Fuchsia, maroon, and rose gold. That looks like a chrome. Mmm. How am I going to organize? Like, there's so much good stuff, I'm overwhelmed. How am I going to organize these? I'm going to... This is not a conversation. This is between me and myself. Do I just keep the lip pencils out? What do you think? I feel like I should. Now I'm gonna keep them separate except for the, the two and then, oh, I didn't even see this one. Violet Underground. It looks like the current chromographic pencil. Is it chromographic? No, just eye coal. Okay, I feel like I'm overwhelmed. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed going down Mac memory lane with me. If you recognize any of these products or you have any 90s Mac stories to share with me, please feel free to do it below. I really enjoy hearing them. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe and turn on post notifications so you never miss a post. You can follow me on TikTok and Instagram as well under the same name, at Miss Megan Robinson. I have to go make sure that my lips are not going to shrivel off of my face. Until then, I'll see you next time. Bye.